Hi, welcome back to Math 7-8. Sorry about last week and not being able to do video. So here is what's going on this week. So let me go to period two, again, three, five, and six, same deal. I'm gonna come in here. So first thing tomorrow, they are told they have a test on all of unit two this week. Everything from, I believe the date was around 929, depending on what period you're in. So it was like 929 versus either the 28th or the 30th, I forget which, until now. Okay, so all the content for the past three weeks is on the test. This is including percent proportions, similarity, scale factor, scale drawings, models, and scaling, and coordinate rules. What to use to study. Obviously, if they haven't seen the videos for some odd reason, that should be the first thing that they do. Um, second, we have quizzes that we've done on unit two. Okay, They can go back into Edge Elastic and go look into what the questions were, what they answered, and use those as help as a study guide. Um, worksheets that I've assigned in the past for the past three weeks, those are always great. There's zero chance that any of them remember exactly what every single question said. So it will also be good to review all of that. Um, new worksheets. So for example, today there is a worksheet, well, I guess tomorrow for Monday, depending on when you watch this. Um, there's a worksheet, there's an answer sheet. So that is also attached. And I'm reminding them, and I will be reading this to them tomorrow, if you're not looking at old quizzes and worksheets, you're not going to be adequately studying for the test. I don't believe that the practice worksheets are going to cover every single concept thoroughly enough, but the combination with the previous worksheets will be key. Okay. Again, I'm also reminding them that math is going to be, especially at this pace, in terms of remembering the content by Thursday or Friday, is going to be about practice. If you're not practicing, you're most likely going to have those situations where you blank out. And I've already had students tell me that they blank out during tests and quizzes. Um, you should be practicing at least a little bit every single day outside of class. They should be done each week. Okay. The reason why I say this is, again, because there is such a gap in between if I see a student, a student on Tuesday versus, and then I don't see them again until Thursday, that one day in between, if they're only doing the math during class and there being so much of it being taught that week, because again, we're learning two years in one and we have to get through it at a faster pace than normal class, there's going to be that instance where they're not going to remember. So I want to make sure that they are understanding these habits and learning how to study for these tests and quizzes and that they should be practicing each day. Same situation, the next class, in this case, it's the 21st. Um, if you're in period three and five, it's on the 20th. So again, please review the work. Same messages. There's a different worksheet and the answer sheet to it. And then in terms of the test day, they have the test today on the 23rd versus the 22nd, depending on when I have your students. So that's it. Again, there's a test this week. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, I will talk to you guys next weekend. Thank you for your help and your time. Have a great rest of your weekend.